far, we've mainly looked at how to map data, but data can be visualized in a number of different formats. And one of the things that's really great about Tableau Public is it allows you to pull all of those different formats together into an interactive dashboard. So that's what I'm going to show you how to do today. Now, we're going to go ahead and use the same data that we've been working with before in terms of the DFID 2011 flight data. So I've gone ahead and I'm just connecting to that worksheet. And particularly, I know that this is the, the worksheet that we want to be working with. So I'm going to go ahead and select that. And it's thinking about it. It's importing all of it. And we are good to go. So let's go to sheet one. Now, as you can see, the dashboard and the whole user interface between Tableau Public is really straightforward and designed to be user-friendly, drag and drop, rather than any sort of coding. So one of the questions that we might want to ask, and what we've asked before in one of the previous recordings, was um, where have DFID staff traveled to? So what we have is a list of dimensions and measures, and we know we have destination country. We can either drop that into the row field there or here, um, and you see it automatically starts pulling in the countries. This is quite similar to an Excel pivot table. So in fact, uh, you can actually, again, um, pull that in. And instead of making it as a column, we can actually, instead of having this be a dimension, we can change it to our measure. And in this case, we want count. Um, and you can then sort by the largest, and we can see that as we mouse over it, the United Kingdom has 3,929 visits, US 437, just like we had seen before. Um, so that's one thing that we might want to do. Uh, or we could keep this as text. So um, right here we have the show me, which gives us various different types of charts that it can do based on the variables that you've inputted. So let's say that we want to keep that as the text for now, and I'll show you why later as we pull this into a dashboard. Let's go ahead and add a new sheet. One of the things that we can also do is create maps on the fly. So again, we can go to destination country, let's say, and then let's color that in based on the cost of the booking. All right, that doesn't look very clear right now. So we're going to go to a map. And we can now see that it's automatically pulled that together. And that gives us the sum of all of the bookings at what it has cost. Uh, what we could do again is change that to a different type of calculation, like the average cost of the bookings. Uh, and we see we have a weird one in Colombia where it looks like somebody refunded something. So why don't we go ahead and um, actually exclude that from the data because it looks a little bit strange, doesn't it? And on the mouse over, there is something that we can change the, the data label as it currently stands, not on the label, on the tooltip rather. Currently shows average cost of booking. Let's say that we want to put the pound sign in front of that. We go ahead and do that. And now on the mouse over, it does show that it's 226 pounds. So one of the other things that we were curious about was the class of service that people were actually taking. So again, if we look at destination country and put that in by rows, and again, it, we're just trying to get a general count, so we can pull that in again, put it as a measure. <clears throat> now, right now, it has the what we saw before, the 54 visits to Canada or 52 to Afghanistan, what we can do is we can drag in the class of service here. And if we pop that into the color, you can see now that 37 of the flights were economy to Afghanistan and 15 uh, were business class. And again, we could sort down maybe as an easy way of looking at this. And we also see the introduction of premium economy here to the US, Canada, Nigeria, etc. One of the fun things that you can do with Tableau is to create a dashboard. So it's as easy as pulling in uh, one of our sheets and we see that it displays there. And then let's say we want to put in a horizontal thing and let's add in our map. Now, one of the things that this shows the average cost of the booking in Russia, in Kazakhstan as we mass over, but what we can also do in the dashboard is if we select the use as filter, if we select on Russia, we can now see 
that the average cost of the booking in Russia was £875, but we can also see that there were five visits here. Uh, it goes ahead and then actually filters those. And the same would be true if we built in um, this as well. Uh, let's see if we can get that to filter, right? So we can actually see how many of those flights were um, economy service or how many of those were business class. Another thing that we could actually do with this is instead of looking at the count of the destination, we could actually look at the cost of the booking. So let's go ahead and pop that in there. Um, and instead of the sum, maybe let's make it the, um, the average cost. And that doesn't quite add up. So instead of having it as a stacked column, let's go ahead and have it as um, a grouped chart. And I still, for a dashboard, I think it works better in this direction. So let's go ahead and you can just switch the axes by pressing that button. All right, so now if we go back to the dashboard, what we can see is the average cost of the economy booking and the business class booking just for Russia. And so that's just one simple example of how we can use Tableau Public to create dashboards. One of the other fun things about this is you can create each dashboard you can pull into a story. And um, so sheet one might be all about finances, sheet two might be about destinations, etc. And of course, what you can do is if you save it to Tableau Public, uh, it's easy to share it online and embed into your various websites.